Greetings and welcome to another garage update. The theme of which I'll just get right into. The theme is preparation, specifically preparation for a big road trip that I am going to be taking. Very, very exciting, coming up very, very soon that I need to get the RS prepared for, and that is to go to the Nürburgring in Germany. So yes, I will be driving all the way from Northern Ireland over to England, then England into France, France, Belgium, Germany, going around the Nordschleife in my RS, gonna be awesome, gonna be like the trip of a lifetime. And yeah, there's just a bunch of things that I need to get done to the RS to get it ready to go. So without further ado, let's get going. All right then, we're at the edge of the garage and the first bit of preparation is actually more like a bit of maintenance I'm going to be doing. I'm gonna be starting off doing a full oil change. So that of course is all the oil. So I've got six liters. I believe the capacity is like 5.4. So you know, get a four liter jug and then the two one liters. Um, and then of course the proper oil filter, the FL910S. That is just the proper Ford Motorcraft oil filter that you need. And then as well, I have a brand new Mountain magnetic oil drain plug to go on there. Um, so that's just a nice little oil chain set. So then I'm also going to do spark plugs uh, so these are the ngk iridiums you can see that is the model right there um, these as you can see by the sticker they are supplied by msd they are pre-gapped to the appropriate 0 0.026 inches or 0 0.660 millimeters um, in my experience msd always gaps these perfectly i will check them of course but unlike other tuners who provide supposedly pre-gapped plugs um, msd actually does it correctly in my experience but like i say i'll check them and gap them if i need to normally then each year i would uh, take out my munchen provided knn air filter and i would do a knn recharge on it so essentially cleaning it out to remove all the dirt as well as stripping out all the old oil and then uh, reapplying new oil and making it essentially nice and fresh and ready to go. Uh, but this year I am just going to straight up replace the air filter with a new one uh, and that is this here. As you can see it's still wrapped in the plastic that it comes in. Pretty obvious that this is not red as the KNNs are and that's because it's not KNN. This is actually from Kolb. Whenever I was putting in my order with MSD for the plugs, uh, they are a Cobb supplier and I thought, well, I might as well grab the Cobb filter because it's essentially like the exact same spec as the K&N. It might even be like a little better in some regards. Um, it's just not red, of course. It's sort of this more sort of grayish color. I might actually do the air filter first just so that I can pull the K&N out and I can do a little side by side because I'm quite curious to see if there are any differences like the depth of the secondary bit at the end here. Um, so yeah, let's do that now. So immediately as I get under the bonnet um, to do this air filter, one thing I'm seeing that could be an immediate improvement actually is if you see this opening at the end here, um, on the k and you can see, well you can see the opening of course, but you can see then that there is this sort of big bit of plastic here that is sort of not really, you know, doing anything. It's kind of blocking off. I've got a feeling just uh, from eyeballing it that the cob could be wider here. Um, so could allow for improved airflow from this area, but um, I'll hold them side by side like I was saying and we will compare. <laughs> so yeah, that's actually uh, quite the difference, uh, both in terms of the width and the depth here as well. So um, quite a decent chunk more surface area on the cob, so that's going to be a nice little upgrade. It's always good as well while we have the filter out to give the airbox a really nice cleanup because you can get some dust and debris in there. Um, so yeah, got that nice and clean. All right, step one, getting it into the lower part was very easy, uh, fits real nice. So now we just need to get the lid on. There we are, all fitted up, looking awesome. Um, I quite like that sort of cob grayish white, you know, of the uh, cotton under there. It looks real, real nice. Um, but yeah, I think, to be honest, I think that was actually easier to fit in than the KNN. I think the sort of 
I don't know, the, it's sort of like a polyurethane rather than uh, sort of a plastic that uh, Cobb uses. It just sort of was made it easier to squeeze it in and to squeeze the airbox lid on and stuff. It was just a really nice, easy install. And as you can see, we do now have this larger opening at the end here. So we might see a very small increase in airflow. And so, yeah, that's awesome. That's that part done. Let's move on to the next thing. Okay, so I'm doing the plugs right now. So, I mean, the old plug is, I mean, it's a little bit sooty, obviously. Um, it's not terrible condition, you know? It's uh, the gap, I checked the gap. The gap hasn't opened up or anything, so, you know, it's still sitting like 0.26 where it's meant to be. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's you can see a bit of discoloration, but you know, it's not ridiculous. Um, but yeah, it is time to change them anyway. I already checked um, on the MSD plug. Uh, the gap is pretty bang on. So that's all good to go. So yeah, nice new plugs going in. All right, that's the plugs all done, and I went ahead and did the oil change. One further bit of prep that I am doing is a bit of detailing prep, and as you can possibly see, I have washed the car fresh here. I did a decon, I did a full wash, and I dried it off. Pretty normal stuff. Um, but what I'm going to now do is I'm going to add a nice layer of protection, and I'm going to do it with this. This is Turtle Wax Hybrid Solutions Pro Graphene Infused to the Max Wax. This is really cool stuff. I've used this in the past and um, it calls it wax but it's so much more than that um, and of course the graphene infused in big writing there is the main sort of star of the show um, what they call a tighter web of protection I used this elsewhere before and I mean you can take my word for it it really does last um, the hydrophobic properties last for absolute ages um, so you can see the protection working it is really nice it gives a really nice depth of gloss um, I can show you that hopefully it comes across on camera uh, because I have done the roof already here um, I mean the depth of gloss hopefully like I say it comes across on camera but the depth of gloss is amazing it looks so so glassy um, which is really really sweet um, so yeah um, I mean this isn't necessarily a detailing video so I will show you how this goes on how easy it is to do because it really is super duper easy it's a liquid all you do is you put it on an applicator move it around and then it hazes up like a traditional wax would and then once it does that you simply use a good microfiber Fiber, buff it off and you are done and um, so I'll show you that now so it has hazed up uh, I'm not sure how easy it is to see on the camera it's maybe easiest to see on this bit of panel here where I've overspread. You can kind of see the difference between the hazed section and the untouched section there. Um, but yeah, essentially once it is like that, you run your finger along it, you can see that it's hazed up. We're ready to buff off. So I've just got a nice quality microfiber. This one is from Turtle Wax um, and we just give it a very light buff. We don't have to apply really any pressure at all all we're just simply removing the product and it comes off super duper easy leaving a really nice beautiful gloss simple as that you know hopefully when I mean, you can see me there hopefully the levels of gloss come across on camera they just are truly truly lovely and yeah I'll just continue to do the rest of the car the same all right so the paintwork is looking fantastic um, but some of the plastic trim is looking a little bit faded I don't know how well that comes across on camera um, but I have a new product for that also from turtle wax the brand new hybrid solutions graph 
Softening Acrylic Trim Restorer. So this is a super awesome product. It's a permanent trim restorer, so it's not just a dressing that will come off as soon as it rains or as soon as you wash it. It will last because of the graphene and the acrylic polymers in there. And it is also super duper easy to apply. We simply get a microfiber cloth or a little foam applicator. We simply apply it and let it dry and that is literally it. So yeah, I'll show you that process right now. So I'm gonna use this black foam applicator just because I have it and it's black. And this is tinted black, um, so black applicator makes sense. Also, I'm gonna wear a glove because um, they say that um, you should wear a glove because of the black tint. Otherwise, I guess it might um, color your hand, I guess. Um, but yeah, giving it a good old shake up beforehand. I don't think we need loads on the applicator at any one time because we don't wanna get it all over everything. So, if I start on this one, start, so I start right here. Just trying to get it as even as possible. That's pretty much it. Uh, we, lit we just literally just have to do that and let it dry. So it's a good idea to have a microfiber to remove any excess you get on paintwork, of course. But yeah, just gonna let that dry and see how even it is. So I'll be back in a couple of minutes. So there we go. I mean, that looks pretty good to me. Turtle Wax do say to give it a couple of layers uh, just to even it out. I mean, at a distance, it looks pretty even. Um, if you do get in close, you can see a little bit of a streak here. Um, so I will just do as the instructions say and do another layer of application and that will even that right out. And then I will just continue and do all the rest of the plastic trim. There we go, looking awesome. All right, another thing that I want to do is to get the Revo wheels on once again. So I've got them sitting here. I have got the car jacked up. You can see that I have got this nice and cleaned out and then freshly greased. So we're ready to go on here. And of course, I'm going to be using the McGuard wheel nuts, um, which have proved to be very, very good, very resilient, very, very strong, very, very good quality wheel nuts and securing them with that. And of course, the locking nut as well. And um, so yeah, gonna get that done now and all torqued up. Okay, so that is on, but obviously not torqued up. So I need to drop it down and then torque up those wheel nuts. Um, looking great as usual. Revo wheels and of course the tires that I've got on them, the Pilot Sport 4S are a bit of prep work because of course the Pilot Sport 4S are a road tire that are quite track orientated if you like. And then also the Revo wheels being nice and lightweight are going to be prep for going on track. So so yes, going to get this drop down, torqued up, and then I will go and do all of the other corners. And a point to note as well, you'll see that I do not have the center caps in there, and that is because going on track will generate a bunch of extra heat in the brakes, and the center caps being plastic can warp in those sort of situations. Um, so we leave them off, that's what Revo says to do, um, so that we don't destroy the center caps, they're in there in the garage, so I can put them on once I get back. Um, but yeah, so this is going to be the look that we are going for, center capless Revo wheels. Okay, so that is this rear corner done. I will repeat this exact same process on all the other corners, and then I will, of course, need to do the TPMS switchover, um, but I will not bother like filming that because I showed that in a previous video, so I'll put a link to that down below if you wanna go and see that process. Uh, but yeah, that will be essentially it for the wheels and tires. Right, there we go. Looking absolutely awesome.
Well, there we are then. That is the latest garage update. I have done a bunch of prep work, some really important prep work, in particular the service items really needed doing before going. And yeah, everything is coming together. There are still a few items that I need to get sorted out before I go, uh, but I will leave that for another day and give you another update before I go. So yes, I hope you liked that. I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure you're subscribed for the upcoming update and indeed details of the trip. Um, it's going to be really fun. So yeah, I hope you'll be along for the ride. And yes, thank you for watching this one and I'll see you next time. Cheers.